Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me 320 Simpilot and today we're going to take a look at another update to the Fly-by-Wire A32NX mod by the Fly-by-Wire team in Microsoft Flight Simulator. They've recently added a new calculator to the EFB so we're going to take a look at that, what it does and what are some of the, uh, the gotchas, what are the, the things we need to remember when using it. It's great to see these additions coming, the quality of life improvements being added to the fly-by-wire mod are just uh, endless, there's so many great things coming out for it now that they've added. So it's great to see this and uh, hopefully this will help you out in your home simulations. As ever I am a real world Airbus pilot but none of this is for any real world use, it's just to give you a bit of extra context for your, your flight sims at home. I'm using the, this is the latest custom fly-by-wire version from the A32NX installer. I believe it's also in the dev version. Uh, but I do not think it's in the stable build at the moment. We are on a flight in the cruise at the moment heading up towards Edinburgh and we're going to take a look at how we might use this calculator to help us with our descent planning. I have done a video on this in the past so we'll talk a little bit about that. Before we get started I want to talk about uh, the new website uh, set up www.320simpilot.com so it is a one-stop shop for all 320 simpilot related things. We've got uh, sections for guides in both Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane 11 as well as the custom liveries, a uh, link to the store and a little bit uh, of a section for the reviews that I've done so far and I'm hoping to expand it over time we we'll add more parts to the website so for anyone just starting out if you go to one of the guides or the uh, collections in there you'll get a nice set of videos to take you through flying the Airbus for the first time. Right let's get started. So here we are in the flight deck and uh, let's have a talk about what we're looking at. So if you go to your EFB now, the fly-by-wire team have added if you, in the performance section a top of descent calculator, TOD calculator. It can connect your ground speed, 448 knots, which it takes from the simulator, 448. And then you can put in your current altitude, which is 33,000 feet. And then our target altitude, let's say, for example, we're going to talk about Edinburgh here, which is, I think, around 100 feet, is basically sea level. Uh, and we put in a 3 degree angle and it gives us when we want to descend 103 miles before target. In my previous video on this topic, um, I'll provide a link to it, I came up with the formula that uh, we typically use day to day uh, in airline flying which is a very simplified formula but it basically is 3 times the altitude you want to lose and then add 10. So we're at 33,000 feet, ignore the thousand, so 33,000 but we'll just make it 33 times it by 3 so that's 99 plus 10 109 so I would say around 109 nautical miles left to run I want to start my descent now remember this is miles to run and it's important to remember this this is 103 nautical miles before target now Edinburgh is there it's however I'm going to fly slightly further than that so as we can see that's 120 uh, so that's about another 30 miles on so let's say that's 150 miles away directly in front of us but as I can see, my actual distance to go, distance in here, is 173. I've got 173 nautical miles to go because we're not flying in that straight line. We're going to go around. So this distance, 103, which is pretty close to, to the same number I'd have come up with, uh, it actually is talking about your distance to run down here. Now, we must remember that we could get a shortcut, so we may not fly all of this. But if you're expecting to fly all of it, it's talking about your track miles. So there you go, it's, it's a great little addition. So some other things we can do with this, which is quite handy, is it's set to 3 degrees angle by default. Now that's what my formula is calculated on as well, and this is typical of what pilots will use because it's the easy, easy calculation. When the aeroplane descends at 3 degree angle, it's going to be around about half your ground speed uh, times 10. So 445 divided by 2 would be about 220. So 2,200 feet per minute is going to be a 3 degree descent at this ground speed. You've got to remember, when we start our descent, you'll probably do more than 2,200 feet per minute. But as you get lower, you'll start slowing down. So you'll end up doing less than 3 degrees a bit later on and so on. So it averages out over the entire descent. So 3 degrees angle is just fine. Using this is just fine. One thing I will say is if there's a tailwind, maybe add a little bit more. So if we had a bit of extra ground speed, if we were going faster, you'd want to have slightly... Uh, slightly earlier so I usually say if you have a tailwind add another 10 um, so at the moment we have sort of a, a light wind 16 knots that's not going to make much difference over the whole descent. but yeah so that's something to be aware of uh, you can do manual inputs as well and add them in but it's quite simple if you have the, that and it's nice that it does use the ground speed so there we have it uh, we put in our current altitude which you can just sync to the airplane target altitude 
uh, and then you get your distance. I would just cover that with the warning if you have a strong tailwind make sure you add I'd add another 10 nautical miles and remember this is talking about your track miles to run so in this case uh, we've got about 127 planned miles to, to actually fly even though the airport's only uh, let's say 110 away but clearly it's a little bit further but you could prepare yourself by uh, making sure you're ready for that descent in time in case you get a shortcut something to be aware of so yeah a handy little feature um, as you'll see you can change the uh, degrees and instead of having it at three degrees you could put in the required vertical speed so you can say I want to descend at 2,000 feet per minute so there we go we'd have to descend 105 miles before and obviously if you put in 1500 it would be more 440 nautical miles so the point is if I put in my ground speed uh, of 443 we said that 2,200 feet per minute which would be about three degrees um, would work out about the same so there you go so there's 95 we said about 99 um, so yeah, so that's about right. But as I said, you want to add a bit more, which is why it's quite nice. I, I do think the best way to use this calculator is to simply put in the three degree angle. Um, that that's that's going to be the the closest to what we would we would run with with real life. Um, the alternative as well, you can put in the the distance uh, that you want to lose the height in. So I want to lose uh, my thirty three thousand feet over let's say i want to lose it over 100 nautical miles so i need to descend at 2100 feet per minute which will be 3.1 degrees if i wanted to lose that height over just 50 miles it's going to be uh, incredibly steep let's see it's going to be 4000 feet per minute 6.2 degrees not really uh, achievable um, for a long period of time but you could definitely reach 4000 feet per minute with the speed break out and if you kept your speed up but there you go so a really nice little feature and as i said simplest you can sync your altitude put in the target altitude leave it at three degrees i really think that's the most handy and there you go and just remember to add in an extra few miles if you're going to have a tailwind for that approach and remember that this is your uh, track miles your distance to go which is here in your fmgc um, but you could get a shortcut sub arrivals don't end up flying you don't end up flying the whole thing um, particularly some sort of rnav ones where you see big curves or in germany you see the big rectangle sort of shapes so be careful for those um, you'll need to you'll need to uh, expect to get a bit of a shortcut from air traffic control but if you're just flying yourself and you know what you're going to fly then uh, then you can run with the the distance here so as i said fantastic to see these features being added uh, and really helpful from the the fly by wire team that's all for today's video i hope it's been useful for you uh, as i said please do check out www.320simpilot.com where i've got uh, my tutorials and guides all uploaded and it will be updated regularly with extra sections and some of the more advanced tutorials and videos we've done on the channel as well as links to the store and uh, the uh, reviews on the channel thank you again to the fly by wire team for coming up with these features to help uh, help us out in our flight simulations it's amazing progress and i always look forward to seeing what more features are added i know there's a few that i'm very excited about coming soon so do please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of these videos uh, as there's plenty more to come as well as live streams and uh, x-plane videos and all sorts of airliners that we fly here now thank you very much for watching keep safe and well we'll see you again in another video or live stream soon Bye bye